Welcome everyone to the long-awaited celebration of the marriage of Pfeiffer and Sean. Normally I would begin my welcome after the bride's father has been seated, but the moment when the bride is presented by her parents is often one that happens quickly and without much focus. However, it is a moment of great significance and deserves more attention and recognition than is often given. The hand in marriage that Farrell with Kathy's love and blessing intends to give to Sean this evening is not just the hand of his oldest daughter. It is the hand he held just moments after she was born. It is the hand he held when he walked into her first day of kindergarten. The hand he held through every scary movie, every soccer, tennis, or basketball loss, every heartache, every challenge that comes with growing up in this world. It is the hand that frightfully handed a set of car keys when she turned 16 and watched her drive off on her own for the first time. It is the hand that he began to let go of when he helped her move into UGA to begin life on her own in Athens. As she's gotten older, each of these moments has marked a little more independence. Of course, she had a good head start on the independence part anyway. And today is the day he lets go of Pfeiffer's hand for the last time as just his daughter. Today, Pfeiffer chooses another hand to hold for the rest of her life, while never forgetting the first man to hold her hand in comfort, protection, and love. Farrell and Kathy are trusting the comfort, protection, and love of their most treasured blessing to someone else. And I think we can all agree that Sean is the perfect man to carry the torch from here. So with that said, I ask, who gives this woman to this man? Her mother and I do. Sean and Pfeiffer, having heard that it is your intention to be married to each other, I now ask you to declare your marriage vows. Sean, please repeat after me. I, Sean, take thee, Pfeiffer. I, Sean, take thee, Pfeiffer. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In and health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Pfeiffer, please repeat after me. I, Pfeiffer, take thee, Sean. I, Pfeiffer, take thee, Sean. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. Sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Having exchanged their vows and expressed their intention to be married today, and having blessed their marriage in front of God and these witnesses, it is my great pleasure to announce, by the power vested in me, that I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.
Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Sean McKenzie.